Hey guys, uh, today let us look into the alcoholic beverage uh, uh, sector, right? And let us try to understand how we can go about analyzing this sector, right? So, an alcoholic beverage is a drink containing ethanol and is primarily divided into three general categories. Now, which are those categories? It's beer, wine, and spirits. Um, now, the Indian alcohol industry can be classified under four different segments. Which are those segments? The first one is Indian made foreign liquor, which is also known as IMFL. Now, there are two classifications to it you know, under this. One is called the brown spirits and the other is called the white spirits. Now, brown spirits are made from molasses, a byproduct of the sugar industry and rum, whiskey and brandy. This falls under this segment of brown spirits, whereas uh, uh, white spirits is made of malt of grain and vodka and gin is something which falls under uh, this segment right so uh, other than this India made uh, foreign liquor uh, the other one is country liquor then comes wine so wine is made from fermentation of grapes with alcohol content between 8 to 22 percent and uh, generally uh, we get to see red wine and white wine and th the other is beer right now beer is an alcoholic beverage made from fermentation of malted grains uh, usually barley uh, though wheat, rice, corn and other cereals can also be used, right? Now, let us understand what are the different types of beers which are consumed. Now, there is a wheat beer, which is highly fragment, uh, fermented beer with a significant proportion of wheat in it. The other one is stout beer. So, it is a dark beer with strong malt aroma and brewed with slow fermenting yeast. Uh, the third is lager beer, which is uh, fermented at a very cool temperature and is best suited for hot climates. And then is LA, LA are brewed at uh, comparatively warm temperature, has fruity aroma and are popular in colder countries. So these are the segments uh, I'm trying to introduce you to this industry and that's why I'm trying to uh, explain all this, right? Now, from an analysis perspective, we need to understand what is the consumption of alcohol in India globally and all. Then we need to understand what are the government regulations and initiatives that has been taken over the years in context of say FDI, uh, GST, uh, just uh, let me remove this okay uh, central pollution control board financial aid licensing distribution advertising around uh, um, this industry right so uh, this is just a, a, a set of uh, things that uh, came to my mind which I have j jotted down there may be more and beyond to this so I would definitely encourage you to uh, think on or research on other areas uh, which can also be taken into consideration. Then we have to focus on the demand supply dynamics. So demand growth in context of production, uh, production consumption and all uh, the market size. So we need to have understanding about this for all the segments, right? Beer, wine, uh, IMFL, uh, on all these segments. So a good source would be CMI uh, for, for getting these pieces of information. Then what had been the export-import uh, scenario uh, around beer, wine, IMFL. Uh, so you can get that data from CMI. Then we know uh, country-wise imports that take place. Uh, so UK, France, Netherlands, UAE and USA are, are the major countries from which India imports. Uh, so a uh, good source for knowing about this would be India trade what is the percentage of uh, uh, import that is happening for from each of these countries what is in volume amount that is happening so we can analyze on that the country wise export so India primarily exports to say countries like UAE Angola Singapore Netherlands and so on so again uh, the good source for this piece of information would be the India trade uh, then capital expenditure so how many distributors are coming up what are the new projects what are the live projects which have been worked on so all these pieces of information you can get from CMI then we have to understand what is the demand uh, uh, what are the demand drivers for uh, for the growth of this industry so few are in form of say the demographics in terms of the young population growth in population affordability changing lifestyle growth of organized retail uh, socializing and dinner is increasing uh, increase in disposable income and easy availability of beer in supermarkets and malls so these are found uh, uh, some of the demand drivers um, so uh, like private final uh, consumption expenditure on beverages pan and intoxicants is increasingly uh, continuously which 
expense for the growing demand of the alcoholic products. So all this piece of information, uh, the business beacon is a good source to get this set of information. Then we can speak about the competitive scenario. Uh, so in context of beer industry, we have United Breweries, Sab Miller, Millennium Beer Industries, Carlsberg, Heineken, Cobra or Asia Pacific Breweries. In context of wine, we have Chateau Vintage, uh, Sula, Grover Finance, Vinsura and many others, right? Then, uh, then we can go about understanding the uh, as a whole, uh, as an in, uh, industry as a whole, what is the raw metal percentage, salaries and wages percentage, SGNA, interest expense, PVDIT margin, net margin. So all these pieces of information we can get to know from CMI and the different ratios uh, in context of this industry, right? So this is going to give us a fair bit of understanding around the industry on an overall uh, basis, right? Uh, I think one. Once you are uh, focusing on these uh, pieces of elements uh, and uh, you are trying to dig deep into uh, uh, each of the categories on these product heads, this is uh, going to significantly give you uh, uh, insights which is really going to help you in uh, the end objectives upon which you are trying to read through or analyze this industry. Right? I hope uh, it adds value to you guys. Uh, if you want this file, please as a file in the comment section and I'll share this with you. Right. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you in some other video on some other industry. Bye.